can't quite believe I'm saying this. I think this could be the pinnacle of my broadcasting career on the show today. It is... Chedward! Work, guys, I'm John! I'm Edward! Let's go, we are Chedward! Take us the E to the D to the word Flat Chedward! Woo! Alex K, it's so awesome to talk to you. Okay, what's going on? all you'll ever need. What's going on, Alex Brown, Minster FM? Well, uh, I, I can't believe you're on the show, first of all. Been watching on Celebrity Big Brother. How was that? Is it true? Mm-hmm. I, I do, do, I do, I do. Okay, Alex K, it was crazy on Celebrity Big Brother, okay? The reason why we did Celebrity Big Brother, Big Brother was for our fans, okay? Celebrity Big Brother was crazy. It was for three Me and John solid broke weeks. so much things. We took it to drastic measures, okay? We flooded the bathroom. We punked the swimming pool. It went leakage everywhere. We br- threw all the furniture into the swimming pool. It was so weird. Basically, Alex K, the reason, like, Alex Big Brother, Big Brother was so crazy. We didn't have a mobile phone. We didn't have a laptop. We didn't have a, com- like, a computer. What's the same thing, okay? <laughs> it was total madness being in there because basically all their people are famous so like it's well, kind of weird you're famous as well yeah I know but like whatever <laughs> but, like basically they're, they're, they're all like starstruck the person we were most starstruck by was Tara Reid Kerry Katona Amy Childs and we had no clue who anyone else was and it's so cool because like even though it's like, over now we're still talking to Kerry Katona and Amy Childs and Tara Reid last night we were talking to Tara Reid and it's so crazy when you ring and them so, yeah and sometimes you're putting the most weirdest situations ever in Big Brother because you don't know who these people are and you've got to live with them for three weeks and because you're putting you're putting a hiding two days before and you're like where am I going and it's real weird I love when he went into the supermarket because you, uh, you, you did the trolley dash didn't you get the bread get the bread it was crazy okay we had two and a half minutes to go through all the aisles and get everything that we needed we that got week. like i don't know how many sweets it was crazy we got so much did chicken so much did you eat all the sweets in the end no we made this huge dolphin or, or huge fish made a fit of, oh, of je- jelly and you, but it, I, it, I hope your yeah. toast towers as well I know. It was basically our morning routine. We'd wake up, we'd have a shower, we'd have, make loads of toast, and we ate so much crazy stuff in there that we'd never even eaten in our lives. Like yeah, what? But, but, uh, rashers, pizza, like <laughs> fried food, and like, and, like, and like fish, and like just those different things that we don't normally eat. Normally we just eat chicken, normally eat like sushi. We never even had sushi. Like, I'm serious, Kay. I don't, I don't mean, I, we, used to be, we used to like totally want sushi all the time and want smoothie. I think it was like rehab for me now to get off sushi and, and smoothies. So we're not really, we don't really, like, we don't really, we're not really that much into sushi anymore we still like it but we're not like as crazy madly in love with it as we used to be and how was it kind of you know like looking after yourselves in there obviously you know you've got to look yeah. after your appearance and everything so you're yeah, on tv yeah. you've got to get the yeah. hair right yeah, we were cool, but the thing about, about me and her is that, that it takes me and her t- maximum 10 minutes to do our hair, but me and her, we always, always look out for each other. But we're still working on it. We still want our hair to be the best it can be. It can still be way better. Like, everyone thinks our hair is cool now. Maybe in five years, our hair might be have totally developed into something even cooler. What would it develop like into? evolution. How could it develop know, even like more? like evolution. It could develop into, like, I don't know. Maybe it could be, like, I don't know. It could be something crazy. I don't know yet, but it, it, it might happen. But it's really good. What, what's really you actually cool. put in your hair to make it like that? Is, is there some special hairspray or fixative? We or use a hair dryer. We use a hair dryer, we use mousse, we use salt spray, and we use hairspray, and we wow. use technique. Well, me and John are real interested in, like, learning all the different ways of doing hair and stuff, so we're trying to get, get new, come a new hairstyle. Yeah, it's like, it takes a lot of practice to get really, really good doing your hair. But, like, we're really excited about, like, being on tour and going on tour. And we want to buy new clothes, okay? We love, like, fashion. We love, like, getting all that type of stuff and, like, want to get more clothes and design clothes. You're and quite famous for your, your, te- your teddy bear trainers, aren't you? And your different types yeah, of trainers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our wing trainers. And our, and, our, and our panda trainers like I think it's really cool having cool it's so clothes. weird okay because people in Ireland call trainers runners and over in America they call it sneakers so anytime I tweet anything about runners or trainers or sneakers they're <laughs> like, always like confused about, there's so many different names there's sneakers trainers runners shoes like there's so many different names for like it's crazy sports shoes whatever you call them it's crazy you're, you're so big tweeters aren't you I follow you on Twitter yeah awesome like okay. it feels incredible tweeting something knowing that, that much people are going to see it like think about okay every single person listening right now okay if you're on Facebook okay well, our Facebook's Platt Jet but remember, switch over to Twitter, okay? Everyone's on Twitter, okay? Our Twitter's at Palantir. It's the coolest place to be and the coolest person to follow is at Palantir. Guys, we're going to take a little break for a moment. It's 104.7 Minster FM. Alex here, live with Jedwood. 104.7 Minster FM. Have you had enough of a break? Are you ready for some more? They're back, it's Jedwood. Work, guys, work, Jedward. 104.7 Minster FM. I got exclusive news, okay, for you, okay? We're really excited about coming back to York. When we do, okay, we will be coming to York in the future, okay? I'm oh, coming to see do. our fans from York. Because our fans from York keep traveling all the way from London to see us. And they're like, come back to York, come back to York. And we're like, we so want to come back to York, okay? We love our fans there. But we, have, we got a brand new album out, okay? It's called Jedward Victor, okay? And it's brand new. And it has all our new amazing songs. And they're all original songs. They're all up tempo. So if you want to get out and dance, have a great night. It'd be totally awesome. And of course, it's got lipstick on, which was your Eurovision entry. That must yeah. 
yeah. Was that not really nerve wracking being in front of such an amazing? It was crazy. It was so weird, crazy. Because me and John, so much people watching. That's the most that we've ever been viewed by. Like, think about it. So much people saw us all around the world. Like, if an alien was like invading the world, we'd be on all the TV screens. <laughs> Alex, Alex, okay, it's so crazy, okay? Because like, literally tomorrow we're going to Sweden to start our Swedish tour and our German tour. Like, it's crazy now. We're on all the biggest teen magazines all across Europe at the moment, and it's massive now all across Europe since we did Eurovision. And we're we still have so much more to do. We're only getting there. It's only the beginning. Like, you know, what? over in the UK, everyone's seen our hair for like the last two years, but our hair has only come out in since May and all around the world. So wow. it's, it's just it's just new at the moment. And there's this real big band called Tokyo Hotel, and he he now has his hair like ours, and he's got <laughs> millions of fans. And now now everyone's like, you got Jared hair. It just seems that one of the reasons I love you guys is you just seem to be living the dream at the moment. You, I know we you know, are. You, you see I, on the TV and whatever you're doing, you seem to be enjoying yourself. Yeah, we always enjoy ourselves, because th that's the main thing, okay? But the thing is, before me and John were, we did X Factor or anything, we used to always, I, we, I remember we used to go to charity shops and get ties, shirts, and, and make ourselves look like we were really famous, and then when we became famous, we were like, whoa, we did it. Like, it's so cool that everything's like happening for us, we're real thankful, we never take anything for granted. Yeah, we always like visualize, we always mentally get ready for it, and then when it happens, we're totally ready. Now, you met President so Obama, didn't you? What, yeah, what was he like? Not... What, what did he think of Jedward? Is he going to get his hair done like yours? He came up to us like, so what is Jedward? And we were like, okay, it's John and Edward, and together it makes Jedward. And he was like, he's like, you guys got really, really cool hair. He's never seen anything like us before. And I think he was like, he was really kind of overwhelmed by me and Edward. And he said we'd come to the, Michelle Obama said we'd come to the but White House. we'd have to like sit down with him and have a really, really good conversation, because we got to talk to him. He talked to us the most, but we still like to talk to him. About, like, We're thinking on talking about world issues with Barack Obama, so if he needs any advice or needs someone to talk to... Where, where do you stand on world it. issues, guys? Are you, you know, have you got strong opinions on Libya my, my, or...? My, all, I, all I have to say is world peace. <laughs> world peace. That, that's a good yeah. message, isn't it? You know, guys, I think you're fantastic. You've got so much energy. You just do you want to hear, hear a clip of our song? Do you want to hear a clip of... Oh, wow, yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Right, go on. Right, go. Wow, well, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. She's got me seeing red like bang, bang, pow. Eleven out of ten, I don't know how. Straight off the rip to scale, she drives me wild. I try to fight it, but I can't let go. She's going low, out of control. Wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Yeah, okay, oh, that's wow. just a clip from her song. Woo! Basically, <laughs> Base K, J Les co wrote the song, and yeah. the guy who wrote If You Seek Amy wrote the song as By well. Britney Spears. I'm really excited about it because it's going to be a worldwide single, which Brilliant. is not from the world. You are legends. No. Cheers, guys. Yeah. It's so, so good to talk to you. Best of luck. Don't with forget this you one. Do. Best interview ever. Oh. Ask you better play a song when it comes out. Wow, wow, K. Thanks, Alex. Cheers, guys. Really, genuinely lovely to talk to you. Peace <laughs> out, dorky people. <laughs> All right, take care. Thanks. Peace out.